Welcome to the demonstration of the Soundia 3 single-user software. In this demonstration, you will become familiar with all the different features in the software, going through each function step by step. The first time you connect your device to your laptop, you will meet a pop-up screen where you can configure your device. For now, we will only name the device since we will be showing you the different presets later on in this demonstration. Next we go to Presets. Here you can select from different presets that are customised to suit different environments. Select a category that best describes the environment that your device will be placed in. You can view the preset details by holding the cursor right on the text. When you place the cursor right on the text, you will see the actual alarm level for this setting, type of measurement and reaction time, which we will talk about later on. In Define settings, you have the option to make individual settings if needed. In the first tab called Light Day, you can change the light settings during daytime. There is a cursor for the green, the yellow and the red light. In this example, I want the green light to be lit all the time and I do this by dragging the green cursor to the minimum, which is 20 decibel. Next I set the yellow light alarm. I want the yellow light to activate when the noise exceeds 50 decibel, so I drag the yellow cursor up to 50. Finally, I will set the red light alarm. I want the red light to activate when the noise level reaches 80 decibel, so I drag the cursor to 80. In the bottom left corner of the screen, we can regulate the reaction time. Reaction time refers to the red light alarm. It defines how long the red noise limit must be exceeded before the red light activates. For example, if I set the reaction time to 2 seconds, the red light will not activate until the noise level has been exceeded for at least 2 seconds. Under reaction time, you can also choose if the red light should be lit or flashing. Finally, you can choose the type of measurement you want. For most applications, the LEQ 1 second is recommended. When you have finished your settings, click Configure. Now we go to the next tab, Light Night. Here you have the option of making special light settings during night time. As to setting the green, yellow and red alarm, it's the same procedure as in day settings. You activate the night settings by checking the box here and select a time for night settings to start and end. In this example I set my night alarm to start at 9 in the evening and until 7 in the morning where it will return to day settings. When you have finished the settings, click configure. In the next tab called display, you can decide what data you want to show on the mini display on your Soundia device. You can choose between LAQ 1 second, alarm level for the red light, clock or turning the mini display off. The lock display function disables manual setting changes directly on the device. By activating lock display, configurations can only be performed in the software. To save your settings, click configure. In the tab called Alarm, you can activate our email service that notifies you when the noise level exceeds a certain limit. In this example, I would like to receive an email when the noise level has exceeded 90 decibel for longer than 5 seconds. Next I write my email address in the field below. You can add in several email addresses if needed. If you want to see the alarm level in live measurements, check the box Show on Live Measurement and the alarm level will be shown as seen here in Live Measurements. Instead of having the Soundia 3 device connected to your laptop while doing the configuration, you can export your settings to your Soundia 3 device via a USB. Follow the instructions shown in the tab or go to the online manual for further instructions. In live measurements, you can see the real-time measurement if the Soundia 3 is connected to the computer. The background shows your light settings on your Soundia 3 device. You can zoom in and out by placing the cursor on the chart and draw it to the right. In the tab summary, you will find the percentage allocation of the measurement in the different colours. 
In chart statistic, you see the LAQ total, which is the LAQ value for the whole period you are monitoring on the chart. Below, you will find the number of peaks. 105, 110, 115, 120 decibel and the peak max. In show in chart, you can choose between LC peak max, LAF max and the LAX max. By using the slider, you can again choose if you want the graph to show LAQ 1 second, LAQ 15 minutes or LAQ 1 hour. When you have collected the data from the internal memory of your Soundia 3 device to a USB stick and you then want to see them in the software, simply click on Import from USB. Then click on the EAR file. The software will then convert the EAR data to a CSV file that can then be seen in the library. The library is where all your imported data is stored. First you select the devices. Note that all the files that has been extracted from your device has the ending internal. The data that has been directly transferred to your laptop has the ending PC. Next, choose the dates you want to look at. All dates with data on is marked green. Finally, if you want to look at a certain time of the day, for example the day shift, go to select time and select the time period you want to be shown on the graph. Choose show measurements in folder if you want to see your measurements as CSV files in the root folder. If you want to use another folder than the default folders, you can create your own folder by clicking on choose a destination folder. In device info, under setup, you can see the device ID and the name and location of the device. These details are important since all the measurements file will be identified by the name and location. In About Sound Year 3, you can check and download software updates. Under User Manual, you can view the full manual. You can also print the manual from here. Under Advanced Settings, there is a tab called Analog Output. Here you can connect the Soundia 3 to any device or BMS system that communicate the protocol 0 to 10V or 4 to 20MA. For further information and guidance on how this works, please consult the online manual. Under Calibration, you can calibrate the external microphone for your device. Use the small extension cable that comes with the Soundia 3 and Type 1 or Type 2 calibrator. Just follow the easy three steps on the screen. If you want more information or want to watch other demo videos, please go to soundia.com or write us an email on soundia at soundia.com.